Lucy, I'm home! You guys are going to think I am crazy. Hey, what's up? I am Joe from Workbench, and I am still searching for the ever-elusive concentric circles all-in-one shape layer, but I haven't cracked it yet. I'm not sure I ever will, but uh, this week we're going to talk about texturing instead. So what you'd probably do is grab a texture layer, put it on top like this, maybe luma mat it since it's close to black and white, and there you go. You got a texture on just this one layer. You could also turn this off, set this to stencil luma, turn it on, and do it to everything, making this somewhat transparent. However, you probably don't want to make your background like that, so this usually isn't your option. But there's another way to do it that uh, I kind of prefer, and that is using transition. CC image wipe. So you just go in here and as your gradient layer, you're going to pick your texture layer, which I put on the bottom. And then you start to move it through like this. Now you'll notice that this is rougher. It's way rougher than the uh, original Luma mat, which you can change if you use levels or something like that. But we can also bring up the softness so that it mimics it a little bit better. Or, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. You can also change what it samples from, whether it's one of the channels or luminance or saturation. By default, it's luminance, and that's what we're gonna leave it on here. The cool thing about this method is that you can actually copy and paste this effect on here and apply it differently. So we can actually go through the gradient, let's say red on these, and we're gonna make the completion a lot more, but a lot sharper. I'm gonna bring this just a little bit. And there you go. So you can actually get a differential texture using the same map in the same spot, but it can wear this top part a little bit more. And that's all without having to wear the background at all. And this way you don't have to worry about having a track mat for each layer. So this is also pretty cool with like half tones. Um, let me grab this over here, put this up on here, and then I'm gonna scale, I'm gonna set this to uh, continuously rasterize. I'm gonna scale it up. This is an Illustrator file. I'm going to put this just on the top like that. And I'm going to apply this to the rings. And uh, I'm going to go right here. Make sure to set this to that layer. And this actually is just alpha. So we're going to just pick alpha. Bring that back in. I'm going to turn this off so we can actually see what's happening. Um, I'm going to invert it because I want the uh, black area to go away, not the blank area. Take the softness down on that a little bit. And there you go, you got the holes in there. What's cool about this one is that, uh, I guess only with continuously rasterize on, I'm not sure if it works in the other one because moving this around doesn't do anything, but you can move this one around, which is pretty useful. And that's it, we're getting back to our quick tip roots this week. I am Joe from workbench.tv. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below and make sure you follow us on workbench.tv for more great tutorials. I'll see you guys next week, bye.